Hey folks, here today to show you uh, one of my favorite uh, guitar painting projects. Uh, this is something I did a long time ago, so I can't show you a video of doing it, but I can at least explain uh, how to do it, and it's a great way to finish a guitar on the cheap. So if you're looking for this uh, pearl finish that looks like a million bucks, then this video is for you. So uh, this is just a cheap... Uh, probably Chinese uh, Squire Strat, maybe Indonesian, who knows. Just a cheap strap body. Uh, and what's happened here is uh, the whole guitar body has been painted a uh, base coat of black. And after it has a nice uniform finish, then uh, this pearl paint is applied. Uh, it's allowed to dry. And as long as there aren't any defects, uh, the next thing that goes on is a clear coat on top of that. So uh, let me show you a few more pictures of this. So here we have a lovely shot uh, Sands pick guard. Uh, you see it turned out pretty well. And then also here uh, we've got a picture of the back here in the same light as the front. Uh, what you see that looks like waves or something is the sky. So that is clouds. It's a, a good buff. And then here, this last image just looks amazing. What you're actually looking at are some trees in my backyard. So again, uh, this turned out really well, and uh, it's really inexpensive to do. So let me explain uh, what I used and uh, how to do it. All right, so these are the paints that I used uh, from Createx. Uh, here, uh, I'm showing them on Amazon. They're available, usually hobby stores, that sort of thing. Uh, there are a lot of brands that look exactly like this that are slightly different. Like I noticed you could go to a hobby shop and there's an RC car paint. Uh, but those paints are much the same except they have a, a plasticizer or flex agent in them because when you bump against something like hitting with a uh, remote control car, you don't want the paint to crack or uh, peel off. Uh, what I can tell you is I use some of that stuff with the plasticizer or flex agent in it, and it's very difficult to sand. Uh, on, it actually wants to come off instead of getting smooth. So if you can, I would avoid those. Uh, instead, uh, use what you see here. It says airbrush color. Now, I used a small uh, spray gun, small air gun not a tiny little airbrush. Uh, you do have to cover an entire guitar body, so be reasonable. But I would use the smallest uh, gun you can find. I have one that's got maybe an 8-ounce metal cup on it. And uh, these were water-based. So to thin them down, I actually just added water. So I literally poured it in the gun, added a little water till I felt it was thin enough, and then sprayed it on. So uh, that in and of itself is an art that I'm afraid I can't teach you. You're just going to have to use some experience and you're going to need an air compressor. So, um, you know, <laughs> you, there are some requirements here, but uh, you can get a really nice finish as you see here. So once I had it, you know, again, I, I base coated it black. I put this water... Uh, based Createx, uh, they call it iridescent paint. I would call these more pearls. Um, and then uh, you let that dry as well. And then finally, you need to put clear on. So in my case, what I used is this. All right, this is deft uh, wood uh, clear finish. It's like lacquer. Uh, I will tell you it stinks to high hell. It is lacquer. Uh, it's meant to do uh, like hardwood finishing, possibly furniture, floors, that kind of thing. Um, when I did this guitar, which uh, I'll admittedly, this is five years ago or so, I believe, uh, I could go down to Lowe's and get the stuff. And I just looked Home Depot, Lowe's, they're not carrying it, at least not online. So once again, I've turned to uh, Amazon here and it's uh, fairly cheap. It looks like it's about 20 bucks. I think I saw one seller where it was 12 plus 8 shipping for a gallon. Um, I found that other than spraying this stuff was awful. You've got to wear a respirator or a mask or be outside something. Not Do not breathe this stuff. Um, that it went on pretty well and it was fairly easy to sand. So in this case, I'm sure I've got five, six, seven coats on here. You've got to let them dry between, but you want to get them wet. You cannot put a dry coat on there and expect to get a, any finish and any gloss. So uh, this is what I used. It, it would be nice to have a waterborne finish 
that worked as well as the paint that was waterborne, you know, the purple. So I don't know if anybody's got any ideas on a good waterborne finish. Uh, I don't know that I ever got the, uh, uh, if I was ever brave enough to uh, try any of the water-based products that I had found. Uh, so I use this. You don't have to use this, but uh, you see the results. Uh, it did not yellow things in the least. Uh, and uh, it was workable. It was easy and it was cheap. So again, I uh, highly recommend the stuff. Uh, but if you find something that's a little more uh, human friendly, go for it. So uh, obviously I wet sanded with a high uh, grit sandpaper. You know, we're probably talking a uh, thousand grit uh, <clears throat> to clean up the body to get the point. And then I, uh, I buffed it with a, uh, I think it's a Black & Decker buffer, uh, electric buffer with uh, some buffing compound. So that's what I did. Let me show you here a picture of kind of uh, the guitar in one piece, sort of. It's just kind of mocked up, but uh, take a look at this. All right, well, here it is in all its glory, uh, assembled. I think it looks amazing. It's one of the best just standard finishes I think I've ever done. And it's also one of the cheapest. Um, I kind of wish I kept it, but in the end, it was just a cheap guitar. Uh, a lot of times I've painted more expensive guitars, they don't turn out like this, and that kind of sucks. Uh, I'd really like to do a Fender Jazz Bass, maybe a Mexican, uh, you know, maybe not uh, not risk it too much uh, in this purple combo with the white pickguard. I really like it. So I like this so much that I actually did it a couple more times. So here is exactly the same paint combo, except a different color. In this case, it's orange. I really like the way this one turned out too, but uh, the orange doesn't quite have the shock and awe value that the purple did. It's, uh, I don't know, it almost feels like a pastel, but it's still a really cool color. And uh, I think in a better light in the sun, it might look even better. All right, so here finally is uh, a more expensive guitar I painted, which of course did not turn out uh, exactly as nice as the two cheaper ones. So here is an 80s Fernandez Strat. Um, the other two I actually painted uh, for my business and uh, sold them on eBay. Uh, the Fernandez was meant to be a keeper. Uh, sorry, the picture is not of the same quality as the others, but basically uh, I had a few defects that I just could not get rid of. So I ended up selling it on eBay just because uh, I didn't want to keep it. It uh, it was not uh, up up to my standards for keeping. So uh, someone on eBay was very happy with it, uh, but it was not quite as nice as the others. Again, same exact Createx paints, just that uh, that uh, lime green look instead of the other colors. All right. So just to wrap things up, uh, you know, if you've got some equipment, you know, you you cannot do this. Uh, I don't know, you might be able to get away with a, a really small compressor, but you need an air compressor. You need a paint gun, uh, in this case uh, a relatively small one at least for the color. Uh, you, I might have used a bigger gun uh, to shoot to clear with. Uh, you need some place to paint, you need a respirator, or paint it outside, or find a better clear. Um, you know, the waterborne stuff is actually non-toxic, uh, so the purple, orange, or green. On a dare, I actually swallowed some. <laughs> I will tell you that I'm still alive. I wouldn't recommend it, but it did say non-toxic on the bottle, so I felt fairly safe. Uh, I would not try that with the clear. So uh, again, you know, maybe you've got some other options out there for the clear. I'd love to hear if someone has found something waterborne uh, that'll do the job that's tough enough uh, for everyday handling and use. So drop me a line if you have found that. But uh, again, hopefully you have found this helpful. Uh, until next time.